Mr Arnott. Thank you very much, Mr President. When we come to this point in the year, sometimes I wonder why we just don't replay a recording of last year's uh, budget debates rather than repeat the entire performance, because it's the same thing that happens over and over again. And as it's Christmas, let's compare this to an annual pantomime. Uh, the Budget Committee, the Commission, the European Parliament, well, we all vote, don't we, for more of EU, more spending, more taxpayers' money uh, being thrown at this project. And then along comes UKIP and our colleagues in the EFDD, uh, the Five Star Movement and others. And we suggest saving the taxpayer billions of euros and we show how it can be done and we show costs that can be cut and we show victimless cuts. And saving money for ordinary people, well, that makes us the pantomime villain. And so you lot all boo. Oh, yes, you do. And Labour and Conservatives vote against whatever we come up with. And that shows sometimes how much they seem to care about saving money for ordinary people. And then the council comes up and proposes a smaller budget increase. And we have the will they, won't they moment where the audience wonders, can a compromise be reached? And so we go into the early hours of the morning uh, almost every year wondering, can they find a new trick uh, to find more taxpayers' money without actually breaching the budget ceilings? And after nail-biting tension, the audience on the, seat of, on the edge of their seats, a compromise is always reached. The day is saved and everybody lives happily ever after. Everybody, of course, except the general public who have to pay for all of it, despite, in the UK's case, having voted for Brexit. And never mind a 3.3% backdated pay increase for EU commissions, uh, officials that just went through the Budget Committee last time. Never mind draft amending budget number five, which means that the UK will have to fire off another 700 million cheque off to Brussels. Never mind the repeated Court of Auditors reports. You know what? I sometimes don't know whether this is a pantomime or a Kafka-esque farce. Well, the British people voted for Brexit, and we're going to write the last chapter. We're going to play the final act, and we're going to lower the curtain on this tragedy. Mr. Arnott, there is a blue card for you. Do you want to answer? Yes? Mr. Franzulica, you have the floor. Grazie mille, Presidente. Mr. Arnott, as you mentioned, the United Kingdom is going to leave the European Union. Why do you care so much about the European Union budget? Leave us, you know, the, the countries that remain, to take care of the European Union budget, Mr. Arnott. Well, that is exactly what we want to do. Of course, we want to leave the European Union. Uh, but right at the moment, we're still here and we're still paying into that budget. And everything that we vote for for 2017 is money that the United Kingdom, as things stand at the moment, will have to pay into that budget. So of course I care about the British taxpayer having to pay into this place. <laughs>